Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is pretty exciting because it's going to be a what I pack makeup wise for beach trips and what I'm going to wear 99% of the time that I am down there. I'm currently filming this on Friday and the video is literally going to be uploaded tomorrow because Sunday I am leaving for South Padre Island. Figured I could film this, you know, before I leave. And this is really just gonna be really simple makeup, easy makeup that doesn't take a lot of time. And then I'm obviously, this is exactly what I'm packing. So I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna use everything. So if you want to see my go-to beach makeup and what I'm going to be packing, then please keep on watching. So when I say beach makeup, I don't really mean I'm more makeup on the beach because it's way too hot here in Texas to do that. So this is more when we go out to dinner, when we go, you know, if we go to any shops, anywhere like that. Um, this is what I'm going to do. So I have a couple of different options when it comes to foundation for y'all and then everything else is pretty much like a staple item for me. Um, I was kind of iffy on if I wanted to bring a primer and um, I think I am going to bring one. I'm going to bring the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer. Um, I Like I said, I wasn't too sure if I was going to bring one just because I wasn't too crazy about having a primer or anything like that, but I figured I could just go ahead and bring a random primer throw it on you know it's better than not having any at all I would just go ahead and work this into the skin I really don't do eyeshadow when I'm down there I am gonna bring a simple palette just in case one evening I feel like doing eyeshadow but more than likely I won't wear any eyeshadow it's just gonna be really really simple makeup so once we have a primer this is where it kind of gets in the part to wear whatever foundation you like obviously you can wear um just as, these are just some of the recommendations that I do like the number seven lift and illuminate foundation really light on the skin really dewy really luminous finish I think this is gonna be pretty for the beach and just natural wear makeup down there um, another good one that is affordable is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Foundation. Again, really lightweight. This has really good coverage to it too if you have any problem areas you want to cover up. Um, this is a good option also, plus it's very affordable. Um, another drugstore option and the other two are high-end. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I have it in 510 Fair. This is another great option if you have oily skin, but it's also a lightweight BB cream, so it's not really heavy on the face. And then my other two high-end options are the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. I feel like this is a fancy BB cream, but it gives off a pretty good light to medium coverage, so nothing too heavy, really light on the skin, but it does cover up any imperfections. And then the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I have one in Fair and Light. Again, a really, really great alternative. Gives off amazing coverage, but it's not as heavy as a foundation. And I really like kind of like the natural finish of this. So I think this is actually what I am going to use today. Um, but like I said, it's personal preference on what you want to bring. I just wanted to give y'all some more um, options. So I will be using a sponge to apply this. I don't know if I'm going to be fair or light. I feel like I'm going to be light just because I am a tad bit darker right now. But we are going to pump out light and see. Okay, so I think um, light is going to match me pretty well. So I am going to go in with this one. I'm going to do about pump and a half and then we can see where that gets us coverage wise like i said i don't go for anything too too extreme oh it smells so refreshing but what i like about the cc cream is it feels really really light on the skin but i mean it covered up my problem area right here so easily so the coverage of this is absolutely phenomenal you can apply this without a mirror because it's really easy to just apply, you don't have to worry about it getting maybe too cakey in certain areas. So that right there is basically what I would apply. This is pretty good coverage for me right here. Um, it's covering everything. You can still see my freckles that come through, but it covered some acne spots I have right here and some scarring. So this is exactly what I would want. And um, most of the time, and I have a feeling I probably will do this one of the days that I am down there, I will take a concealer like the um, Maybelline Fit Me I have right here and then my Urban Decay All Nighter or this is an all-nighter, that's the foundation, Urban Decay um, Weightless Concealer. And I will just put this on my under eye, um, between my nose, you know, places I wanna conceal, and I won't even put on a BB or CC cream. So I probably will do that one of the days, um, but I do really like this IT Cosmetics. It looks so good on the skin. So I definitely will be using that a lot. But like I did say, this is going to be if we're going to dinner or something. So I am going to apply just a tad bit of concealer just to even out my um, skin tone just a little bit, but I'm only applying a little bit 
for that specific reason and then to highlight. And I'm going to take my same sponge. This is from the Shop AOA, um, what is it, Shop? Yeah, shopmissa.com. <laughs> I mentioned it in my current beauty and skincare favorites video that went up on Tuesday. So that was the last video. That concealer just adds a really nice brightness to the skin and it kind of evens out the skin tone because the light shade is just a smidge too dark for me. But with that concealer, it evens it out a lot. So before I set my face or anything else like that, I like to go in with cream products. Most of the time I forget I set my face and I'm like, oh dang it, I forgot to use you know, my cream bronzer or cream highlight. But today I am going to pack with me this Essence Make Me Glow Liquid Highlighter. This is beautiful, so I'm just going to dot a little bit onto the skin. And I may bring a powder highlighter, um, which is also from Essence, just if I don't want to use a cream highlighter that day. Or maybe I want to top my cream highlighter with something else. But that cream highlighter adds a really, really nice glow, as you can see. And it's kind of like a healthy glow. There's no glitter in it. There's nothing to it. That's why I enjoy this product a lot. Plus, it's pretty easy to apply. It blends out really nicely on the cheekbones. You don't have to worry too much about it. Because I know some highlighters that I have it can be a little bit harder to blend out. So you can kind of see it sitting on your cheekbone. This one's not like that. This one definitely melts into the skin. It looks so pretty. There's a highlighter I have my eye out right now um, and a cream bronzer from Milk. It's like their cream bronzer stick and then their highlighter stick. I want both of those very, very badly because they look so beautiful. After I have everything blended out, as you can see, it's just a really natural glowy face. I will go in with just a tad bit of powder because I am oily. Um, no, no fancy powder anything, y'all. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I trust this stuff, so I really like using it. And um, I'm only gonna take like maybe three face brushes. I like to keep everything pretty minimal. And I'm going to set in my T-zone right here under my eye because like I did say, this is where I tend to get a little more oily. And then I'll take a little bit of a smaller tapered brush. Both of those from were from Wet n Wild. And I'll set under my eye right here. And then right here where I tend to get a little bit more oily. And that's pretty much it for powder. Um, if I do need powder throughout the day or anything like that, I will take it with me in my purse with a brush just to um, add anything else. And then as far as brows go, I keep it very, very simple. I take the Ardell Brow Building Fiber Gel in Taupe. This is the bomb.com. So I will take this and just kind of comb through my brows. Um, beforehand, I will take a spoolie and kind of just go through them, get any um, product out or anything like that. I do have pretty distinct eyebrows, so I don't really feel the need to fill them in all the time. I am kind of growing them out right now. Like, it's in a weird phase. I want to get them waxed so bad that I'm like, no, don't do that. You need to let them grow out a little bit more. So I will just take this little fiber gel and then comb through these brow hairs. So it fills in any area, but it also does make the brow look a little bit more full and complete. So I don't really do anything with eyeliner whenever I'm down there. I don't wear black. I don't wear a nude. I normally just don't put any eyeliner on. Um, and like I said, I don't really put a lot of eyeshadow on either. It's normally just mascara. But the palette I will take with me is the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm starting to use my smaller eyeshadow palettes more. And this one's really nice for travel because it has a lot of pretty neutrals in it. So majority of the time what I'll do when I'm down there is probably take like two colors. So I may take like this orange or this taupe shade or one of these darker shades. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to take a little bit of the orange shade in here. And then I will buff this into the crease. And then I'll apply a little bit of a darker shade. And then highlight my inner corner and brow bone. And that will be pretty much it. I do like to get a, a little bit of dimension to the eye. That way it doesn't just look like my eyeball is sucking into my face. And then like I did say, I'll take a little bit of the darker shade and I'm using the same brush. So no need for many brushes. I'm not one to pack like, like, like I did say, lots of brushes. And then I'll just work this into the crease also.
And then that will be pretty much it for the face. And then I will take my powder face highlighter and highlight my inner corner and brow bone. But as far as face, face makeup goes, I like to keep everything pretty condensed in one palette. So I do like taking my Benefit Cheek Braid palette for this because it has um, both Hoola's, the California Blush, Dandelion, and Rockateur. So it makes it pretty simple. So I'll take a little bit of Hoola and then mix it with a little bit of Hoola Light. And then I will bronze slash contour so i like to use a little bit more of a tapered brush for this that way you can kind of just kill two birds with one stone here and then once that is done i will normally go on the blush i'll take um california today just because i really like the coral in that And then even through all that powder product, you can still see the Essence Cream Highlight, which I absolutely just love. I can't get over that cream highlighter. So that is pretty much it as far as bronzer and blush and everything like that. Like I did say, we keep it simple. And then highlighter will be Essence Pure Nude Highlighter because this is kind of one of those high highlighters you can build up to be very intense to your liking or you can keep it pretty simple. Like I did say, there may be a day where I don't want to apply a cream or you know, just whatever scenario. So I will apply that. That was using my Wet n Wild highlighting brush. And then I will go with a smaller brush and highlight my inner corner with this and also my brow bone. This is pretty easy because you only have to pack one shade to do this with. And then as far as mascara goes, um, I take my Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara and I like to combine these two. This is Maybelline the Big Shot Mascara and then I believe this is L'Oreal. Yes, this is L'Oreal um, Beeline Mascara. So I will combine both of these on my top lashes only. And then I'll take a little bit of that Feline Mascara also. And then I will take um, some of the Wet n Wild Mega Slim. Once everything with the eyes and face are done, then I move on to lips. I'm not a huge like liquid lipstick or anything heavy like that to wear when it goes to the beach. So I have three I'm going to take. I have a Maybelline lipstick in 555 Naked Coral. I have this LA Girl um, Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Snuggle. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. So I think I'm actually going to apply the Maybelline Naked Coral Lipstick. And then for a little bit of gloss, I'll go ahead and take um, Creme Brulee over this. And that is pretty much everything I do when it comes to my go-to beach makeup and what I will be packing. Like I did say, this is all the makeup I will be taking with me. Obviously, just a cosmetic CC cream, I won't be taking all six foundations. So um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I thought it'd be pretty helpful since I am going to the beach and need to pack anyways. So um, I will hopefully find all links for everything down below. Hopefully I can find everything on Ulta, that way it makes it easier for y'all. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.